from 4 News Now with live updates throughout the day, breaking news as it happens, and weather every 10 minutes. This is KXLY+. Plus. Good afternoon for 4 News Now. I'm Rob King. In just a moment, I'm going to be speaking with Jordan Smith to talk about his special report that airs tomorrow, Contractor Nightmare. And here is a little teaser for it. A local construction company accused. Lie after lie after lie. They have no souls. Over a dozen victims, half a million dollars gone. What's taking so long to get their money back? 4 News Now investigates Tuesday at 6. And to talk a little bit more about this special report, here is Jordan Smith. Jordan, let's just get right into it. Uh, the teaser explained that it's about a specific contractor. How did you find out about this? Yeah, this story came to us uh, last year. Uh, I was uh, We got a complaint about uh, a contractor who had uh, ripped off a, a family. And when I was talking to Labor and Industries, they pointed me in the direction of this story where uh, this was happening a lot more frequently, uh, and um, as we investigated this over the last year, we found that there was more than a dozen reported victims who have come forward across three different states saying that this construction company called Hammer Time Construction or Hammer Time Builders uh, essentially would collect hefty down payments for projects that weren't really ever completed. So all of these families essentially pouring their life savings into a project that was never seen to completion. Jordan, you're a new homeowner. This is every homeowner's around nightmare that they give all this money and none of the work gets done. Uh, what are the people saying that you've talked to who appear to be victims of this? Yeah, I mean, it, it is a nightmare for these people. I mean, as I said, people have dumped their life savings into a project and into a dream to be able to expand their home or to have a pole barn built or a tiny home. And those dreams were never seen to completion. Uh, and what we've heard from is, is just uh, communication was great with these people until they got that first check. And then after that, it was it was tough to get a hold of them. And that project, again, never completed. Uh, in some instances, we actually talked to somebody who used inheritance money to try to fund these projects. And, and that just kind of adds to the devastation behind this story. And that was really what was uh, interesting and jumped off the page at me. Now, it sounds illegal. Are there any criminal charges associated with this? As of right now, there is uh, one warrant for an arrest that's been filed out of Ponderay County um, accusing one of the contractors of theft in the first degree. The problem with contracting scams is police have to be able to prove intent. There was an intent to defraud clients of money. So when these people show up and do part of the project where they put stakes in the ground or if they lay a foundation and then just don't show up after that, it's it's really difficult to prove intent. So as of this point, there's one arrest warrant out for theft in the first degree for a client that we spoke with who lives out of Ponderay County. How many people, though, have come forward and saying this has happened to them if there's just one uh, legal victim, I suppose? Labor and Industries, uh, who's been a great resource in this story, tells me that they have at least, they have more than a dozen victims that have come forward across three states uh, with similar complaints. Um, but the difficulty that they run into is because each situation might be a little bit differently, uh, might be a little bit different. Police aren't sure whether this might be a civil issue or a criminal issue. And, and that's kind of the frustrating um, delay that a lot of people have seen. Got it. And has anyone been able to recoup some of that money that uh, was lost? We learned this morning actually, that uh, the contractor has submitted money back to some of the clients. Uh, one person in particular who spent close to $25,000 on a project, he has since recouped about $6,000. It seems as though an effort has just begun to try to repay some of these people, but with the vast amount of clients and with the vast amount of money, more than half a million dollars, that's a process that could take a while. So this is still ongoing. It's going to be something that's going to be, we're going to continue to follow. How can someone, though, who is a homeowner, needs to get work done, how can they protect themselves from this? That's a good question. Uh, you know, there's, there's a couple of red flags to look out for. Contractors should always have a phone number listed. Uh, check the labor and industry websites. On there, you will see every licensed contractor, and you'll be able to see if they have sort of a, a rap sheet, so to speak. You'll be able to see complaints filed against them or if they're in good standing. 
when in doubt, call Labor and Industries if you're a little bit nervous. But the one thing that they told me is you, as the homeowner, as, as the person with that money, you're in charge. And there's no rule saying, hey, you have to pay us 75% of this down payment before we can get worked, uh, work started. You're in control. And so when in doubt, talk to Ellen and I. They'll guide you through it. Um, but if something feels a little fishy or something isn't quite sitting right, that's probably for a reason. So just take extra caution and, and give that a little bit of extra thought before handing over that check because when that check is cashed in, it's very, very difficult to get that money back. Got it. Jordan, I want to thank you so much for uh, stopping and, and, and chatting about this real quick before it airs tomorrow. Uh, is there anything else you want to add before I let you go? No, no. This is uh, We're excited to see it air. It's been a year-long effort. So, um, yeah, excited for tomorrow night. Sounds good. Thanks, Jordan. And Jordan's special Contractor Nightmare airs tomorrow in 4 News Now at 6. A preview web story. If you missed some of this interview, uh, this will be up there as well. But you can read that web article on our website right now, kxly.com. Uh, but for now, live in studio, I'm Rob King for 4 News Now.